Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and manage custom themes. Let's get started. So in my document here, the first thing that you need to learn is where themes are located and what they are. If you go to the design tab up at the top and you go to the document formatting group, you're going to see a button on the left side which is themes. Themes are basically a custom set of colors, fonts, and effects that look good uh, when used together. So if you wanted to actually create your own brand new theme in inside of uh, Word. This is really useful for if your company has a certain color set or something like that. You could actually do that and save the themes so that it could be used on all of your Word documents. As you can see here, a lot of the headings are in purple. It looks as though uh, this theme is mostly purples and oranges, as I could tell up from this colors button right here. You can actually set the fonts, colors, and effects of your documents and then save the custom theme for use later. So let's go right here to fonts. And you can see that the highlighted one is the current font that you are using and this will change all of the fonts in your document. So this will change your heading font, your body font, and any other text boxes or objects uh, that contain fonts within them. And so if I go right down here, you'll see Candera is my currently selected font. I'm going to change one uh, mine right down here to Cambria. And so if I click on Cambria right here, you'll notice that the fonts within the document will all change. And if I click, take a look, and you saw all the fonts got changed to Cambria. Now from there, I can also change uh, the color scheme within my uh, document as well. And so if I go to the design tab, document formatting group, right next to fonts is the colors button. And this is where you can choose from a list of colors that typically look good together. So as you can see, I have some custom colors up at the top, and then I see the general office ones down below. And as you can see, as I hover over them, the colors change depending on what I'm highlighting. So you'll see that it usually will change the uh, heading fonts and or the heading colors and also subheading colors. All right. Uh, as I move down through here, you'll see that I'm going to choose orange. Okay, and you'll see this changes it to kind of a gray title up here, and then orange subtitles within it. All right, or subheadings rather. And so that's how this document looks. Now let's say that I want to save this theme so that I can apply it to any other uh, Word document that I'm working on. Well, I could go right over here to the Design tab, Document Formatting Group, and I could go right here to Themes. And then if I go down to the very bottom of this gallery, you're going to see a button that says Save Current Theme. And if I click on that, it's going to open up a Save Current Theme dialog box. And this will save it into typically a Microsoft templates folder called Document Themes. And I'm just going to leave it in this folder. And I'll just call this My Theme. Here, so I'll capitalize the T. So My Theme. All right, so now that I have this saved as My Theme, this is a .thmx file and I'm going to save it right here and click Save. Alright, so now that I have this document theme saved, I'm going to close this document. And when I close it, I'll save it, and then you'll see my desktop will be right here. I'm going to apply this theme to a different document now to show you how to do that. And so if I double click this document, you'll see it looks like our first document where everything was purple and uh, kind of how it looked at the very beginning, right? It's a very similar document. But if I go to the Design tab, and I go to the themes group, you'll see at the very top you'll have a custom list of your custom themes. And if I hover over custom theme and I click it, you'll see that the orange uh, Candera font is now gray and it's Cambria font. And down here, what used to be purple is now orange. You could also see that if I go to my home tab in my font group and click the font color arrow, you'll see that the theme colors all match up with the orange theme that I selected from before, as well as the headings within the style pane. So this is a good way to set up custom fonts for your company or uh, for any templates that you use moving forward. And hopefully this has explained a little bit more about how to apply custom fonts within Microsoft Word. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. Thank you and have a great day.